Foods. So I'm back and probably no one's gonna watch this but that's okay. Pretty much I've been waiting on this thing that holds my camera. It's pretty much like a GPS holder thingy but it's the only thing I can really film with. I'm gonna attempt to do like a purple gold smoky eye like gold cut crease type of moment. So hope I can pull this off. So I pretty much already did my brows off camera. Um, I'm gonna film in a little bit more later on. My brushes were so freaking dusty because I haven't used them in like forever. So if you see hair flying around in the camera, dust, my bad. I just blew that off. But hopefully this like brings back my love for makeup because I literally stopped doing it for so long because I just had other shit going on. And so I haven't bought any new products or anything. This is all my old products. So hopefully I'm like, holy shit, this is what it's like to do your makeup to her. Holy fuck. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using this old ass brush that I believe I got on Wish like a long ass time ago. All the bristles are all like flared out. And this is just a dry beauty blender. I actually prefer it when it kind of soaks up some of the product so it's not just caked on there. Also kind of helps it from creasing so I'm not going to set it with a powder or anything. So there's my eyeball, my other ball, done. So now I'm gonna get into the eyeshadow. I'm gonna get into the eyeshadow proportion of this video. So I am using tape. Tape is like the line that I will never be able to create on my own. It's pretty much all it is. So I'm gonna be using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics, which is old as fuck. Like I said, I have not bought new make makeup. I'm tripping over my words. Um, I have not bought new makeup in literally forever. And then I'm using the 39A palette by Morphe um, for the purple and gold eye look. I'm going to jump right into this magenta looking purple. I'm going to be looking in my mirror right here. I don't want this to be like too childish, so, which I wanted to do colorful, but I, I don't know. I did colorful last look that I did, which I tried to film by the way, but I just didn't have the setup, so it just wasn't happening. Now I'm going to add this darker shade of purple to the outer corner and a little bit to the crease. I'm using a smaller little more dense brush. Um, by the way, this is an old BH Cosmetics brush set that I've had for years now. So I'm going to pack on more purple after I do the gold. First I need to cut my crease. So you guys, I changed my mind. Um, the palette I'm going to be going in with Morphe 15 in palette. I'm gonna be going in with that top gold shade right there. So now I'm gonna go back in with that darker purple shade and blend out the edge of that line. So I'm gonna go to the other eye and I will be right back. I took the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte um, in shade 101 and 102. I almost forgot my nose. So, next is concealer. I was about to say, where is my Revolution concealer? But I literally ran out of that 
like a year ago. I need to go and make up shopping, but I don't want to spend money. Um, now I'm going to do my under eye eyeshadow real quick. I just always take whatever's left over on this brush and go under. Since that pretty much like whitewashed me out, um, I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. I'm using the Tarte, what is this, the Clay Play Palette. I had no clue I still had my Anastasia de Brow. It like dried out so long ago, I thought I got rid of it. See how this works out. I don't even know how to not make that look bad. Looks like a Sharpie brow, but oh well. Oh, we'll just ignore my brows. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my highlight. I'm gonna do it with the BH um, Cosmetics Strobe Light Palette. Okay, so I'm not going to put on falsies because that's going to take forever. I'm just going to do mascara and curl my eyelashes. So I always use the um, Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Hydrofuge. Shoot, we use this mascara. Um, this one's the waterproof one because my mascara always runs like insanely. Um, even with waterproof mascara, it still runs. But um, literally, like, I've always tried to find my go-to mascara and... That literally is the one I always go back to. So I guess I found it all along. Um, but yeah, I always go back to this mascara. I freaking love it. And it's weird because I never see anyone else using it. So I think mascara is definitely all about personal preference. Um, but I'm going to do a lippy today, which I never do lips. But I found out a new way that I can do my lips now. Um, where I actually like it and I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay, so this Ulta lip gloss What I do is I open it. I put it on my hand. I get a bunch on there And then I go into my eyeshadow and I scrape a little bit. Let's see. I get some pigment and And I mix it around this So here it is. I'm gonna go fix my hair and I'll be right back. So you guys, my phone died. Um, so I'm charging it. I'm gonna pop in some pictures at the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my little makeup sesh coming back to my YouTube channel. Um, and yeah. That's it. Bye.